Hey, hey, just wanted to make a short video after reading on the forums that there was some uh, disagreement about the effects of manifestation of spirit and uh, especially when you feed the Ursa and spirit fit. So I decided to do a little test here. Now, first, what we will do is make a baseline here. I have my Measurement uh, and a Guardian And when I hit my Measurement a little bit I should be getting pretty consistent numbers here As you can see 121 damage Nice and low, which means that it will be easy to see the effects of um, the ability and it's also very consistent as you can see so let me activate spirit and you can see that it uh, reduces the damage by six which is pretty consistent with what we would expect. So let's just do the numbers fast here. With 5% uh, damage removed from 121, that should be 115 rounded up. So, so far it's looking good. We can also just run the numbers with one point. You should be at 114 damage rounded up with two points. We should be at 111 damage rounded down. And with three points, we should be at 109 damage rounded down. So let's put one point into the ability. Same. Now it's six percent. Activate it and start hitting. So 113 damage. And uh, we see that uh, we did get an effect from it, uh, but it was bigger than we predicted. But it also may be a lot of rounding in the background here that we don't actually see. So, let's put another point in it. There we go. And start hitting again. Activating the ability, 111 damage. See, you're getting consistent numbers. This is good. Look back here, 111, just as expected. So. Let's put the final point in the ability. There we go. Just have to wait a few seconds for it to get a cooldown. And let's start hitting. Lancing it there, but that is, doesn't matter that much. As you can see, pretty consistent 109 damage. So, if you look back here, that is exactly as uh, we expected.
So, um, as as ten percent as we can see. So the numbers actually add up pretty well, and uh, at least for PvP, the ability is working as expected. So now that we have established that uh, it works in PvP, let's check out how things are in PvE. Again, I have uh, not put any points in defeat, so it's just 5% now. But let's first establish the baseline. Uh, this mob will hit for two number of uh, damages. 677, 680 is one of his attacks. He has another attack there. Uh, we do ignore the crits, unfortunately, during it high. The mobs do crit, so we are just looking for the numbers on uh, his two abilities. have to heal myself a little bit as well to survive this hits. So as you see we aren't getting perfect numbers out of this but uh, should be good enough to decide if um, we do have an effect or not, so I think we have the base line test here now. So there, I'm just going to reset it. And if we ignore the crits here, we will see that uh, We have a lot of hits around 680. Yeah, 675, 680. And we have a lot of hits around 506, 586, 584. So let's say. 585 and 680, 675. Let's see what we can expect those numbers to be when we apply the manifestation. So we had uh, 675. And uh, with 5% reduction, 641. So there is a number lower than any of the 600 numbers we have there. And for the 585, that should be f around 550. So let's get the mob again. And enable the manifestation. So what we see here now is uh, 639, 636, 647, a little bit lower than 641. But they will see an effect there at least. Oh, Enough station run out. Going to start again. To 
get some more numbers. So again we see 8 there, 647, 649, 551, great that we ignore, 647, 649, 647, great again, we ignore that. Station has run out again. Oh, so let's reset him. There we go. So those three last hits there, we can see is consistent with the numbers we got when the manifestation was not running because it ran out. I'm going to scroll up. To those other numbers here. There we go. So what we can see is that those numbers are more in line with what we, what we would uh, expect with 641 damage. We also can see some 551 there. I think we had some more of those. 551 there. So yeah, it definitely has some effect there. Now instead of uh, testing with both 1, 2 and 3 points, I'm just going to ramp it up to 3 points, uh, since we did see from that uh, test earlier that uh, the difference was there. So now we have a 10%. Which should give us numbers around 607 and 526. So let's uh, check that out. Let me buff up a little bit. There we go. Take a few more hits. To pull that big guy as well, so I'm just waiting a little bit. There we go. Station on. Six hundred and four, six hundred and one. There's a crate, we ignore that. Five hundred and twenty. And 601, 520, and it has run out. Getting a few more numbers before we conclude. Station on 522, 605, 522, a crit, ignore that, 602, 605, 522. Yeah, I think by now it should be pretty clear here that uh, the ability does work as intended, also in EV. So, for the last test, um, to also check if it works in raids. And um, 
this was uh, one of the hardest parts since uh, I couldn't actually find easily accessible any raid mobs that did uh, consistent uh, damage. At least not without getting a full raid uh, going. So what I'm going to do is um, to just take my guardian and not build more than one, but I will get that Geo Essence Extractor. He will also bring some ads and we will uh, see if those numbers can be used to test out uh, the effects of the manifestation. So, going down here. And just let the Guardian get hit as much as possible. There we go. And of course I just have to wipe here since that is uh, really no way for my Bergemont to kill those. rest and look at the numbers so uh, what can we see here we have the damage from uh, the Kabbalists going from 260 to 370 that's not really reliable at least not for our testing the extractor hits for 700 he has the pain fumes it's for 503 750 675 much, not much to go on that either but we do have the Kabbalists and Holy Touch which seems to be a fixed amount of damage 242 unholy damage that we can probably use to test So, 242 damage, that should be reduced to about 218 damage, so why don't we test on that, you have to remember that manifestation is both for magical and normal damage so I'm just going to do the pull again and this time my bear shaman will activate the spirit and hopefully we will see that uh, unholy touch damage is reduced that is how we know it's working in rates or not. So, to the Benjamin. Getting their attention. And debuffing. So, would you look at that? Unholy touch. Damage 217. Pretty consistent 
yeah and we had uh, calculated to be 218 but again it can be things uh, that we don't see here uh, rounding up rounding down stuff like that but what we can say for sure is that the manifestation also works fine and as we would expect in rates. So that's it.